Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your homes and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you are passing through, you can click on the thumbs up, thumbs down and you can intergra interact with my subscribers. You can also share it if you want somebody else to know what I'm talking about. And today, what is Black Bright talking about? She is talking about maybe being able to get compensation if you've been waiting for nearly two years for your visa application to come through. Well, a gentleman is suing the Home Office because they made him wait two years for his biometric resident permit. And during those two years, he couldn't work and he couldn't do anything. So the Home Office may have to pay compensation. Uh, the Court of Appeal has said in a significant new ruling, Hasson, H-A-S-S-O-N, if you want to have a look it up, Hasson versus Secretary of State for the Home Department. Because I tell you something, if he wins this appeal, all of those people who have been waiting for goodness knows how long for their visa application, their indefinite leave to remain or whatever, and have lost money, who are in debt and um, who can't pay their rent, these are the reasons he's citing for compensation because it's breach of private life. Um, Mr. Hassan bought, sorry, Mr. Hassan sought compensation after being left waiting 25 months for a biometric resident permit, confirming his right to live and work in the UK. On the 20th of May 2016, the Home Office sent Mr. Hasson, a letter confirming he had been granted leave to remain in the UK until the 20th of November 2018, promising his biometric resident permit would be sent to him within seven working days. After chasing them, Mr. Hasson finally received his biometric resident permit on the 19th of June 2018, with only five months left to run on the permit. Without the permit, Mr Hasson had been unable to work and had accrued significant amounts of debts. So I really wonder how many of this applies to. The arrogant Home Office did not apologise or provide any explanation for why it had taken him so long seven days and it ended up taking 25 months. In October 2018, Mr Hassan started legal proceedings against the Home Office by way of judicial review. Mr Hassan believed that biometric resident permit should have been valid for two and a half years from the date of issue. But because it simply evidences leave to remain, this is not the case. So he thought that whenever he got the biometric permit, it would the, the two and a half years would have started from that point. But because the biometric resident permit is purely to prove that you're resident in the country or to show that you exist in the UK, whatever date it finishes, that's the date it finishes. So it's not retro, you know, it's more or less retrospective. So he can now say, OK, I was legally in the country from such and such point to now. And he can be legally in the country until um, he would have been legally in the country until November, the six months later. So that is what the um, Home Office are saying. They're saying, look, you know, you that that biometric permit is just proof that you live that you're resident in the country so we don't have to make um, make it now from the date we've issued it to you add on another 2.5 years that's not how it works so then what he did was um, so yes so the home office did not acknowledge 
the impact of not having a physical biometric resident card and the grounds upon which he's taking legal action. But if not for the Home Office's delay in sending the biometric resident permit, Mr Hassan would have been able to work for at least two years and is claiming that there had been a breach of his private life, as protected by Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights, claiming he was entitled to compensation. He is also claiming that the Home Office had breached the duty of care it owed him and he was entitled to compensation as a result of this negligence. So, if any of you have been waiting an indefinite period of time, unreasonable period of time, and it has affected your private life in that you can't work, you can't rent, you can't access any services, then you need to kind of follow up on this um, piece of legislation or this matter or this case, whatever you want to call it, really. But yeah, Hassan versus Secretary of State for the Home Department and see what happens because you never know. I mean, now is a kind of a dodgy time to be talking about immigration, but life goes on. And we still have, I still have to inform you about other things other than the coronavirus. Actually, they're talking about taking down videos of the coronavirus now. They reckon it's just too much. So I'm going to try and put up one more because I think it's, it's quite important. And then maybe, depends really, it's hard to say. But yeah, that's all for now. Bye bye.